Hey y'all, uh, it's Marilee. So I wanted to come to you with a um, Patos clipping video. All right, um, she plants. So um, suppose you get a vine, right? And this is your vine. And it has, this one has four, 26, however many you have, right? So you're gonna clip it, clip it, clip it. And you're gonna get these. Okay, uh, mind you, I'm, I'm doing a video. So these I got at Thanksgiving from a cousin in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. I put a picture up of her pretty plant that we clipped these off of. So uh, um, <clears throat> I helped her tr clip her plant down because it was just really all over her kitchen. And she gave me um, one of the vines that had four plants on it four leaves so what you're going to do is you're going to clip it now i clipped on this side and i clipped it on this side and it was long but since i have these containers i couldn't put it in there so i just clipped one end off and i got these as thanksgiving so let me show you when you clip them you want to make sure that you clip it on each side of where the leaf is and wherever the noid, the little knob, noid, knit, whatever you want to call it. So each one of these, you'll see, there's the little knit, knit, knob. And this one has a few on it. And then this one does. So when I got ready to put them in the water, they were long on both ends. So I looked at the ends and decided that the ends that have little bait, little tiny, because these may grow. These may grow. All right. And look, I've had these in the water um, since well, we flew back. <laughs> they did not take my plants. Thank the Lord. I thought they were going to take my plants at the airport. Flew back and I trimmed them and put them in the water. So I just trimmed it and then uh, put it in the water now if you now what i'm going to tell you is <laughs> you cannot cut this off and stick this in water it's not doesn't work that way it has to start growing before you can stick it in water so i mean before like i'll, I'll show you some other ones and it'll explain better but these ones yeah you got to put them in the water so then i just stuck it down in the water and i just use these minis um, I do art projects in the summer. I run art sessions and we use these for the kids. So every year they, um, they plant something and they paint. So like this one, and then look, all of them have a new root coming. So I'm just going to keep them in the water a little longer. So whatever today is, um, Thanksgiving day. Uh, a couple of days after Thanksgiving, so Saturday. The Saturday after Thanksgiving, I came home and put them in water. All right, so you can see that one. And um, if you look close at this one, this one actually has two. One right here, and there's another little, little, little one right there. Can you see that? So, all right. Okay, so um, that's for your new clippings. So if you have some long vines. So I don't repot. I clip. I clip off. Um, and that helps um, That helps the roots start stop growing so much because they're not trying to feed the plant. And then um, it just helps your plant bloom out more when you clip some pieces back and you can be nice and start some clippings and give them to people all right well these i'm not these these will be um groomed into other plants the name of these i, I will pick names from um from my family members that live in charlotte well live in north carolina and then one of them i'll probably name north carolina and then after that all the plants that grow after that will be north carolina anyway but let me show you something so Look at this. This was an air wick. I pulled the little thing out, cleaned it out real good, and then um, put a little plant in here because it was so little when I clipped it off. So I um, had a vine, and I clipped, clipped it, and this is everything I got off of it. So if you notice, 
This is where you clip the flower on both sides. This is this little brown thing is the noid. Actually, the noid has little roots, more little roots growing off of it. Look at that. And this plant also also has a growth right here. It's probably gonna be a leaf. So this was just one leaf. All right, and there you go. And just stick them. You just stick them in the water. Give them some. They don't even have to be under the light, but these are my favorites right here. This is what I like to do in the water. Look at him. Look at all them roots. And then he's growing another plant, and it just started growing under the water. These ones, I want to say I started these in August. I just kind of been messing around with them. I just leave them in, the, in here until I'm ready to plant them. I'm not ready to plant them yet. So I just leave them in. And I'm putting them, this is my arrow garden I got you guys. And some of my stuff is growing. But anyway, back to the Patos plant. So yeah, just take your, um, your, your leaves, clip them. See this one grew a new leaf under the water with the roots. And then all you do, all you're gonna do is add water to your to your little containers. You see, my little container even has a little bit of algae and debris in there. I leave that in there. It's kind of like how you, when you do fish, you don't take all the all their water out. You just let it go down. What I do is I let it go down. If it gets down to here, like where the root is, I'll put more water in if I'm not paying attention. And that's usually like five or six days or so. So yeah. So if you look, all right, I'm going to cut my video short here. Now this one here is, this yellow leaf was the original leaf. It's kind of dying off now, right? And it, it, if I put it in dirt, it'll it'll grow. But anyway, this was the vine I cut. This was the original leaf. Now look, it's got this leaf. It's got all these vines and, I mean, all these roots. And it's going to grow some more leaves. You see where all these roots are coming out at. And these patos plants, the they I want to say they're tropical and they live on trees. So if you have something like some bark or something, you could let them climb and grab hold to, you know. They're really not dirt plants. That's why they tolerate the dirt so good. That's why they dry out so good cuz they're they're actually used to holding on to um, tree bark and climbing up the trees and stuff like that. And that's why when one leaf breaks, it can start new life. So really, you never really have to buy a new, a new potos plant. And even if yours starts growing or getting stringy, just cut, clip the leaves. Look, look at this, y'all, for real, literally. See this leaf? Look how much of it is clipped off, right? Look at that. And then all I did was clipped it and stuck it in water. You just have to make sure, and here's the little brown noid, right? It grew these roots. And so this is probably going to grow some more. I could stick this in a little pot right now and it give it three months and it's going to have more, more um, flowers coming out of it. So, yeah, you just... Um, yeah, it's not it's not that serious, people. It's not that people get these potos plants and go crazy. Oh, it's dying and uh, don't don't do that to yourself. Just clip off. You think it's dying? Look at this. Okay, clip a leaf off. Literally, just clip the leaf off and stick it in some water. And look at this, babies. See that? Look at look at right here. It's getting it's getting roots on it. It is meant to grow. All right, but you just have to have the leaf and a little noid on there and stick it in some water, put it somewhere and leave it alone. Stick them in the bathroom. Stick them where ain't nobody going to bother them. If, you're, if the room gets light, yeah. And these other little bottles I got. So um, when I go to people house and they drink these little, these, I think these was moonshines or something. They drink these little drinks. And I just ask them to save the bottles, right? I also save jelly bottles, any kind of glass. I like glass. I like to put my plants. I don't know why. I just like to put them in glass when, when I'm doing um, hydroponics. So, yeah, see, isn't that go cute? 
anyway um this is almost 10 minutes and i'm gonna let you guys go but good luck um let me show you another one see now let me show you something right here if i wanted to because this has a leaf i could literally take the knife and slice it right there slice it real good right there this little leaf because it has a root on it stick it in one of, I stick it in one of these little tiny air wicks you know and it'll start growing and you'll have a leaf so right here I have three plants right and if you count all, all of these you know BAM you never have to buy another potos plant once you buy one you should never you should never have to buy one so good luck you guys I'll let you guys know how the um, Charlotte plants are doing and then um, I have something else to show you too with the pato. So, all right, this is 10 minutes. Gotta go. Bye bye. This is Marilyn.